In this video, I'm going to walk you through Lockdown AI from start to finish so that you can see exactly how it works in real interview scenarios. All right. So imagine walking into your dream job interview and having an AI whisper. The perfect answers is in your ear in real time. It sounds like science fiction, but it isn't anymore. So meet Locked in AI, the dual layer AI co-pilot helping people land roles at places like Google, Amazon, and Netflix. So whether you're getting ready for a coding challenge, a finance interview, or even your very first internship, this tool acts like a personal coach and a smart research assistant in your pocket. It gives you live answers, instant feedback, and up to the minute research while keeping your privacy locked tight. Ready to see how AI can help you ace your next interview and unlock your future? Let's begin. So to get started, click start for free and sign up using your email or continue with Google. And once you've registered, log in and then you'll land on your dashboard. And on the left side, you'll see all the available AI co-pilots. You'll find tools for professional meetings, online assessments, phone interview support, and a research hub. You can also view your activity history, and if you click your profile image, you can open your account settings or manage your subscription. So in this video, we're focusing on the interview AI co-pilot. Click on it and you'll be asked to enter your interview details. So first, set the scenario and the industry you're targeting. So there are several options from marketing and sales to cybersecurity. So for this walkthrough, we'll choose general purpose. So also, I want you to keep in mind that you need a paid plan to access the other scenarios. And next, fill in the company information. For this example, I'll type none in the company field. Then set your job position. So I'm going to type freelancer. And for the objective, I'll choose behavioral interview. And if you scroll down, you'll see an option to upload documents related to the job. And the more you add, like your resume, the job description, or any supporting files, the more personalized and effective the AI guidance will be. And you'll also see questions and answer form where you can type a specific question and get tailored responses. And also make sure the status is set to active, then click save changes to lock in your preferences. And before you begin, check your audio setup. Select the right microphone and make sure it's properly connected. It's a simple step, but it matters because your answers will be transcribed live during the interview. Now let's open the advanced settings. So in here, you can set the response length. You can keep it on default, switch to concise if you want shorter replies, or choose detailed if you want longer, more developed answers. And you can also pick from over 42 languages, which makes the tool easy to use in your preferred language. So next is the processing time. So choose fast if you want a quick response, medium for a balance or quality if you'd like the system to take a bit longer to give a strong answers. And there's also a switch to enable or disable filler words in the AI's replies. If you prefer clean, crisp answers, turn filler words off and you'll also see a threshold for relevant information. This controls how strictly the AI filters and uses that your input. So for this demo, we'll leave it in the middle. And once you're happy with the setup, click Save Changes. And at the top right, you'll find another advanced settings panel. Open it and you can change your industry preferences. So for this example, I'll type None. And you can also choose the tone for your answers. And if you want a relaxed feel, pick Conversational. And if you need something more formal or professional, pick professional. So for this walkthrough, I'll choose a conversational tone. And there's also a field for special instructions too. So in here, I'll add calm but confident tone so that the AI keeps that style as it generates replies. And you can also set the response format, which is useful for behavioral interviews. And if you want start type answers, turn that on and click save. You can also turn on the AI coach to guide you during the interview and then give you real-time feedback. And you can also change your AI model. So there are four AI-free models available. That is Azure GPT-4.0, General, Gemini, and Gemini 2.5 Flash. The other models are part of the paid plan, so you'll need to upgrade to access them. And if you want to support this channel, feel free to use our affiliate links given in the description below 
this will help us more videos like this. And you can also use the coupon code ENJOY5 at checkout for a 5% off on all payments. And once everything is set, click Start Lock In Pilot. So this opens the main interview panel. You'll see three areas here. The first is the screen panel. So in here, you can allow access to both the interviewer's screen and your conversation screen. Click Start Recording, and then you'll be asked what you want to share with Locked In. For example, I'll share a Google Meet tab. Select Google Meet and click Share. And now your screen is visible here, just like it would be during a real call. And below the screen panel, you'll see your live transcript and a mic on and off control. And whatever you say as the candidate will be transcribed here in real time. And on the left side of the panel, Locked In AI will detect the interviewer's questions and write answers for you. So let me show you an example. So I'll type here what an interviewer's might ask. So what is the best editing software? So as soon as the questions appears, Locked In AI picks it up and starts writing a strong answer on the left panel. You can also read the response as it appears and it comes out very, very fast. So in the top right, there's a small settings option where you can turn automatic scroll to new messages on or off. And if you want the view to always jump to the latest message, keep it on. At the top left, there's a document button. And if you want to glance at your resume during the interview to remind yourself of a detail, you can open it there. And there's also a deep think mode shown with a brain icon. So turning this on can help you get more accurate and thoughtful responses when you need extra depth. And when you're done, click start recording to end the session. And then after that, you can review your history, click view history, and then you'll be able to read the full transcript of the interviewer and your conversation. And if you want to keep a record or share it, you can send a summary report to your email. And before we wrap up, here's a quick look at pricing. On the Copilot page under Unlimited, the monthly plan is 54.99 USD billed every month. So this includes unlimited interview session for coding, meetings, mocks, and OA. Access to GPT-40, Gemini 2.0, and 2.5 Flash. So comprehensive summaries and reports support for up to one and a half hours per interview and also a tech support. And if you prefer a longer commitment, the three months plan is 39.99 US dollar per month billed every three months, which is about 27% off the monthly price. And then it includes everything on the monthly plan with the same model access and support. You can also choose the option that fits your budget and how often you plan to practice. So that is the complete walkthrough. You sign up, Choose the interview AI co-pilot, set your scenario and industry, add your company, position, and objective, upload documents for better guidance, and save your preferences. You can confirm your mic, tune your advanced settings for length, language, speed, filler words, and relevance. And then refine tone, special instructions, and response format. You can also enable the AI coach, pick from the three models, and start the lock-in pilot share your meeting screen, watch your transcript update as you speak, and let the left panel generate answers in real time to the interviewer's questions. You can glance at your documents if you need to use deep think mode when you want more precision. And finally, stop the recording, review your history, and email yourself a summary report. And if you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.